In this video, we will be studying about Ping, FTP, Talent, and HTTP. This presentation is created by Simran Chandra, Simran Katane, and Subhana Das. Our contents are What is Ping? How Ping works? FTP, Features of FTP, FTP Clients, Telnet, How Telnet works? HTTP. Now, what is Ping? A Ping is a computer network utility. To determine if the specific IP address is accessible, that is, it is used to check whether a particular machine in the network is alive or disconnected. It also measures the round trip time for messages sent from source to destination. It sends the ICPM echo request packets to the specified host. If the host responds, the packets are received back. We can see here how ping works. Ping operates by sending ICPM echo request packets to the target host as shown in the block diagram. A request packet is sent in the step 1 which consists of an ping address and I ping and IP address through hub to router which is received by the host and again the reply is sent back in the form of ICPM packets. It also reports the errors and packet lost in the system while transferring. The procedure is explained in this slide. First, log on as an administrator, then click start and then run. Type cmd in command prompt or we can directly go to start then programs, accessories and command prompt. In command prompt, type ping then IP address of the system which you want to check. Here an example is shown that is ping 192.168.43.60. A successful ping test is shown in this slide. We can see the number of packets sent, received and the number of packets which are lost. It also shows the round trip time in milliseconds. Now file transfer protocol. File transfer protocol is the most secure way to transfer and exchange file over the internet when the files are transferred from client to server computer. It is called as uploading while transferring from server to client is known as downloading. To assess FTP server, internet connection is required. Now, features of FTP. It operates in a client server environment in which remote machine is configured as a server and waits for the other machine to request service from it. It transfers one file at a time. It also creates and deletes directories when empty. FTP copies file from one computer to another. FTP is a transfer protocol in TCP IP suite application layer. FTP client is designed to move files back and forth between two computers over the internet. Here a diagram is shown which shows the FTP internet connection upload and download. Now FTP client. Some of the FTP clients which are used are FileZilla, Fire FTP, Dreamweaver. FileZilla which is a freely available for Windows, Macintosh and Linux. And Fire FTP is popular for Firefox web browser. Dreamweaver is a package layout design program which is purchased from Adobe. Now, Telnet. Tel Telnet, which stands for Terminal Network, is a standardized interface between two hosts, that is client and server. This runs at application layer of a network. The process in Telnet is here. Uh, it consists of two processes that is tlntses.exe and cmd.exe. tlntses.exe is responsible for managing Telnet sessions and cmd.exe is a command interpreter which runs the command program and script on the host. How does Telnet 
when a user is logged into a local system and starts a telnet program as a client by typing telnet and ip address then the client is started which establish a tcp connection with the telnet server on the destination system once the connection is established the program accepts the data from the user and relates them on one character at a time in general telnet server is a master server with slave servers master server listen services request from clients after that slave servers handle the specific request and master goes back to listen more request here we can see the working of telnet clients and server a connection is established between two networks where telnet client request a service and telnet server works on it now http which stands for hypertext transfer protocol is a web application layer protocol here a client server module is shown where a client request services and displays web objects and server responds to that request http uses tcp here client initiates tcp connection to server and server accepts tcp connection from client http messages are exchanged between browser and web servers then connection of tcp is closed it maintains no information of past client requests a http conversation is shown here we can see the client request a connection and server responds to it then it ask for an information like get information then server sends the page or error manages the response is displayed connection is closed http sets the rules for conversation between web clients and servers an example of http which shows the client message requesting a web page like get fac press short bio dot html is shown the web client can easily retrieve pages from any web server as it specs the exact message format the reference is taken from slide share that is networks then transfer protocol presentation on telnet hypertext transfer protocol